Mars attacks, let the invasion begin. Hi, I'm Gary Lovisi, and this time we're going to take a look at something different. A non-sports card set, science fiction, horror cards, Mars attacks from Topps that came out in 1962 in the United States. They were the uh, bane of all parents. Parents hated them because they were very violent and very gruesome and full of gore. The uh, uh, story was that, uh, kind of like a, a modernized version of H.G. Wells' uh, uh, Invasion from Mars. And uh, it was the cards had artwork on the front and, uh, and descriptions on the back. Artwork was by Norman Saunders, and uh, it was uh, great artwork, but it was also gruesome. It was scary. It was uh, full of blood and gore and guts. And uh, without further ado, we're going to look at these cards now. They came out in 1962. There were 50, uh, 55 cards in the set. And what I'm going to show you now is the reprint set from 1984. What happened is that uh, if, you have a, if you have a set from 62, which I do not have, those are worth quite a bit of money if they're in really nice shape. And when I was a kid, when I was... Uh, I was 10 years old at that time. We were collecting the Mars Attacks cards, and they were great. My parents hated them, and there was a lot of controversy over them, but they were so popular that they've gained in popularity over the years. You have books on Mars Attacks uh, on the cards, and also uh, stories. You had a movie, Mars Attacks, with Jack Nicholson playing the president, all kinds of things. So this, then, then what happened is they did a, a first reprint set uh, in 1984, and this is that set, which... Uh, uh, is exact uh, of, of those cards. So we're going to take a look at them now. I'm going to show you the first one. Number one, the invasion begins. Number two, Martians approaching Earth. Number three, attacking an army base. Some of the some of the the uh, artwork is gets very gruesome. The uh, back covers all have have a little bit of, uh, yeah, they're all numbered, and uh, numbered 1 to 55. They all have a description of the story, and then they show you the next card in the series, which is number 2, and so on. That's number 3, 1, 2, and 3. Number 4 is Saucers Blast Our Jets. Number 5 is Washington in Flames. Number six is Burning Navy Ships. If you do two, then I can get closer and show do two. everybody a little bit better. Okay, I'll do two. Okay, number seven is Destroying the Bridge. Number eight is Terror in Times Square. Number eight is the Human Torch, setting a soldier on fire. Number nine, a ten is the Skyscraper Tumbles, Empire State Building being attacked. Number eleven is Destroy the City. You see the Martians with their big brain heads running around. Number twelve is Death in the Cockpit. Number thirteen is Watching from Mars. They're watching the Capitol being destroyed, and they're all sitting back laughing. Number 14 is charred by the Martians. They cook unsuspecting people. Number 15 is the saucers invade China. They use a disintegration ray on a guy, burn him, burn him alive. Number 16 is panic in Parliament. In England is being attacked. Number 17 is Beast and the Beauty, uh, Alien Abduction, I don't know. Number 18 is The Soldier Fights Back. He fights that and hits the Martian with his rifle butt. Number 19 is Burning Flesh. This was one of the cards that was uh, called into question because it was just too gruesome. And uh, especially these were for, were for kids. 
And uh, when, when I was 10 years old, these cards came out in 1962, and, uh, and I loved them. And me and my friends loved them, you know, but uh, parents did not. Number 20 is Crushed to Death. Number 21 is Prize cap Captive. More about this card in another series later on uh, in the next video, which uh, you're going to find is quite amusing. Uh, number 22 is Burning Cattle. It is more burning cattle. Number 23 is the Frost Ray. Number 24 is the Shrinking Ray. So they're using rays to freeze people, to burn them alive, to shrink them down to nothing. Number 25 is then finally we're doing something good. We're capturing a Martian. Number 26, the tidal wave. They start a tidal wave in the city to destroy our city. Number 27, the giant flies. They use giant insects against people. Number 28 is helpless victim. Giant insects gobbling up a guy. Number 29, death in the shelter. And more giant insects gobbling up a guy. And uh, they like to use a lot of giant insects. Number 30 is trapped. Giant spider going after a helpless woman trapped in her web. Number 30, and all, all done by the, by the Martians, by creating these giant creatures that they control to attack people. Number 31 is the monster reaches in. Number 32 is robot terror, as they start using robots against people. Number 33 is removing the victims. They get rid of the dead people that they've killed. Number 34 is Terror in the Railroad, using giant, I don't know what that is, insect or bug or something. Number 35, we use the flamethrowers, we use flamethrowers against them. Number 36, another, another one of those, was uh, those kind of uh, rough, destroying a dog. And the kid is, is, is fighting the Mar Martian, it's, 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 it's setting his dog on fire. Uh, gruesome, gruesome uh, stuff, gruesome stuff. Um, number 37 is Creeping Menace. Number 38 is Victims of the Bug. The little bug gunk squirting out on the guy that bayoneted it. Number 39 is the Army of Giant Insects. So they got all the insects coming at the army. Number 40 is High Voltage ele Execution. Number 41 is Horror in Paris, a giant, uh, I don't know what that is, uh, attacking the Eiffel Tower. Number 42 is Harry Fiend, more giant bugs. Number 43 is Blasting the Bug, more giant bugs. Number 44 is Battle in the Air, helicopters battling giant flying bugs. Number 45 is fighting giant insects, more giant bugs. Is this Mars attacks or bugs attacks? It's, it's, it was, they use the bugs to, uh, they use giant bugs. Because bugs are like, you know, it's kind of gross and, and you know, they, they gobble up people and stuff. So they were trying to make these brutal. Uh, number 46 is blast off from Mars. We're finally fighting back against the Martians, Martian invaders. Number 47, Earth Bombs Mars. Number 48, Earthmen Land on Mars. Start shooting the Martian invaders. Uh, number 49, the Earthmen Charge the Martian Cities. Uh, number 50 is Smashing the Enemy. So Earth fights back against the Martians. Number 51, Crushing the Martians. And they're killing the Martians. We have a tank on Mars. Number 52, giant robot. This is a great, great art done by Saunders. And uh, they're, they're terrific, terrific uh, images. Number 53. And they're all, these are pulp images from, uh, you know, from the science fiction pulps kind of uh, era. And number 53 is Martian City in Ruins. 
number 54 is Mars Explodes. So uh, at the end of the, the war and the invasion, they blow up the whole damn planet. Number Card number 55, the last one in the series, is a short synopsis of the story. And on the back is a checklist of uh, all, the, all the cards in the series, all 55. And this is the reprint set. So what Topps did with this set, they included an extra card, number 56, which is the wrapper uh, for the uh, for the original cards that were, you know, they, they were wrapped in a, in a wrapper that uh, this was the cover of it. They were five cents in 1962. And that's uh, Mars Attacks. They were, there were books, comic books, and a movie, like I say, um, all based on Mars Attacks and a whole lot of other things. And they've reprinted, Topps has reprinted the set over the years. And they reprinted the set in 1994. Uh, and the interesting thing about that is that they included these cards. They included a set of 11 um, cards that were never published. So these these were seen for the first time in 1994. So um, w the first set goes up to 1 to 55. And uh, in the reprint set, they, they have this, this um, the, the uh, wrapper card. They call it 56, but it's not really 56. So what happens is they have an actual card, number 56. So while the series, the 62 series ended in, uh, with, with 55 cards in 1994, they reprinted the series again, and they added card number 56 to 66. So these are, what I'm showing you now are new cards that were unpublished. And uh, a lot of people don't have these cards in their set, and a lot of the people don't even know that, uh, that these 11 cards exist. And there's been other ones since then, but we're, we're just going into the regular original series now. So this is 56, and again, they are, the back covers are very much like the, you know, like the uh, original series with the number, with a little bit of information, and then tells you card 57, and then here's 57. And of course, what they're showing you here is this guy here. So they're not showing you the whole card, though. So that's 57, 56 and 57. Can you explain why they were unpublished? They felt that these were uh, too brutal. You're going to see that these are a little more, uh, quite a lot more uh, brutal. So not so much these two, but this next one's. Uh, the last picture show is something out of The Walking Dead. And now we see like uh, uh, how the uh, gut-wrenching gore and violence uh, in the cards that they, they didn't they had a lot of they had a lot of uh, controversy over these cards and Topps probably uh, decided you know after they published they, they had the, the 55 uh, they probably decided no we're not going to use these last few because they're a little too rough and so they made they, they unpublished them at that time. Number 59, uh, Blasted into Oblivion. Okay, so this is going to, this is what you're going to see. The guy in front on a cannon blown, blown to bits. And it's pretty, pretty gruesome. And uh, then you're going to see number 60, Unspeakable Experiments. The Martian doctor operating or just, you know, torturing a, a poor guy. Number 61, Flight of the Doomed. An aeroplane cracked in half with the people falling out. Number 62, Last Licks. A little girl with a doll holding an ice cream cone with the Martian who's going to kill her. Really nice. Number 63, Common Cause. Uh, this is interesting. A African American and a white maybe Southern redneck kind of guy, you know, joining together in common cause to kill the alien invader by cracking his head open. Gory, bloody mess. Um, number 64 is uh, 
slaughter in the suburbs. The kid and his dog in the gutter is everybody's dead all around them and there's blood all over the place. Number 65, naked and the dead. Naked women that are being attacked by giant bugs. And this one has a woman's head and she's bleeding. So it's, uh, looks, doesn't look too good, but number 66, you know, is always a silver lining and uh, number 66 is uh, Earth triumphant with a, a dead Martian with his head cut off and blood pouring out of the top of his head. So uh, those are the 11 unpublished cards that were even more gruesome than the original 55. And uh, those are the, the Mars Attacks cards set. The artwork was, uh, was extreme, was uh, science fictional, was monster, horror, uh, bloody, full of gore. It was exciting. It's fun. Kids love them. And uh, people collect them today and, uh, and enjoy them. And uh, I just hope you enjoyed this look at Mars Attacks. And uh, if you do, give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time with Uranus Strikes. Now just think about what that's about.